one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. On 29th May 2022, Pope Francis announced the appointment of 21 new cardinals. William Wo Seng Chi, Archivescovo de Singapore. When I heard the news, I was elated. Lah. Of course, I was thrilled. Thank God, hallelujah, you know, wow, we've got a cardinal. It's a big thing. It is really the senior leadership team of the Holy Father and therefore the senior leadership team of the church. It's a great honour. I'm certainly humbled by the choice of the Holy Father. I believe that it is the will of God for me to do more than what I'm doing in the Archdiocese of Singapore. The timing can't be better. We just celebrated our 200th anniversary of the Catholic Church in Singapore. And this is the 201st year. Catholic 200 SG and now with the Synod. And then we had the Archdiocese Assembly. That clarity of coming together as the Diocese from Singapore. Under Archbishop and now Cardinal William Go, there has been a lot of emphasis on involving the laity, restructuring the various organisation structures. There has been a growing movement of a Singapore church. God has really affirmed all that we have done. So it's not just affirmed what Bishop alone has done, but it's really affirmed all that the Catholic Church and Singapore has done. Singapore itself benefited from foreign missionaries in terms of education, healthcare, care for the poor, for the abandoned, and that gifting to Singapore helped nurture entire generations of Catholics and non-Catholics. So the calling right now is how can we give a contribution to the region? The current policy of Pope Francis is to draw cardinals from all parts of the world. Singapore has a small Catholic population and we thought for a long time that we're not deserving of a cardinal. But he supported cardinals in Laos, in Myanmar, even in Brunei. By his picking, he knows and recognises what we do and in fact is embracing us into the centre of the Universal Church. Guided by Pope Francis's vision, Cardinal Go shares his pastoral view moving forward in four main areas. Growing the faith in Asia, bringing humanitarian aid to the poorest and the least, caring for our common home and promoting inter-religious dialogue. Coming from the Malaysia Singapore Bishops Conference region, I will see what I can contribute to the promotion of faith in Asia. He will contribute not only his personal capacity, his experiences in Singapore will also then, through him, be presented to others. And he in turn will learn from others and influence the course of development of the church in Singapore. Those in the third world country, people are poor, people are deprived. The only way to proclaim the gospel is through humanitarian aid. If you have experienced God's love and mercy, we want to share that love with others. We begin to see the face of Jesus in those who are suffering. We begin to reach out to them. It's personifying the love of Christ to everybody, regardless of language, religion, ideology, to bring the church, which is the love of Christ, to all. Those who are enlightened, must also be concerned, not just for humanity, but also for the environment. We would expect our Catholics as well to be leaders of how we manage the planet, how we protect the planet. And so I think it's also important to encourage Asia to have proper dialogue with other religions. And I think there will be greater mutual understanding that we are already supportive of each other for the good of our people. It is only in partnership with others we can guarantee the existence and the presence of the Catholic Church. Singapore is in a very vibrant region. According to Pew Research, we are the most religiously diverse nation on earth. Evangelization in the cities with the Singapore flavor is something that we can offer and contribute to the regions. St. Peter and Paul, the two very important apostles, both have laid down their lives for the faith. They have given life to a church that is now spread throughout the earth. We have a cardinal who needs to be very mindful of the blood of the martyrs. Whenever he dons that red hat and his entire robe as cardinal, it's almost a reminder to follow Christ to the end. It suddenly dawns on you that you're part of this 2,000-year line, you know.
and now you are called to do the same. As we celebrate that we will have a cardinal, that there is responsibilities, and that all of us collectively can be co-responsible along with Cardinal-elect William Goh. My task is to support the Holy Father, to champion his vision for the Church, and we need to try to understand the Holy Father's direction. And this is where perhaps it's important for us to be more familiar with his documents, with his apostolic letters and cyclicals, so that we can move together as one church. We have to accept that with him becoming a cardinal, we will have less of him in Singapore. And we should be big-hearted about it. That because he has certain qualities of leadership, he has a certain spirituality, so we will have to share him with the universal church which means that we've got to do more for ourselves and, in a sense, be less dependent on him. So he will need assistance, he will need our support, and he will need our prayers. I would say that, you know, if we start from wherever we are, do it joyfully, do it because God loves us and God wants us to do it. Whatever work that it may be or will be in communion, in mission with the Cardinal and with the Church. As a Cardinal, it's impossible for me to do the work all by myself. The first thing I ask for, the prayers of the people. And it is God who makes things work. I ask all of you for your prayers, that God will grant me the wisdom, the fortitude, to be able to guide the church, to speak for the good of everyone, and to be able to rally our people in the work of proclamation of the gospel. On 27th August 2022, Pope Francis will officially install Archbishop William Goh as Cardinal. Let us come together as one church to pray for William Cardinal Goh that he will be able to assume this responsibility with humility, wisdom, fortitude and holiness.